Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Debiria from the Beery Eyes Naturals and Casus for Evolutionary Empowerment, and this is your empowerment reading fire signs. Fire signs, let's see. We're gonna start with an affirmation card. I'm gonna go with the flow. Let's just go with the flow. We're living in divine flow. We're living in a divine towel. The sacred flow. I'm gonna scoot back so you can see me better. Okay, this affirmation card for fire signs. This would be Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, fire signs. What? What is your affirmation card from fire signs? My beautiful, beautiful, fiery fire signs. Okay, love. Love is a many splendid thing. Today, notice and appreciate the all, at least three splendors, like the fact that puppies. Okay. I'm not going to read this whole card, y'all. I'm sorry. I just don't feel like it. I'm not feeling it. I feel like fire sign don't really give a fuck about the details. They just want to learn the, the energy and the affirmation is appreciate the love around you. You're surrounded by love. Appreciate the love around you. Vitality. Um, are you, are you feeling really healthy and strong at this time? This is affirming I am healthy and vital and strong and radiant and love of, and full of, you know, my radiant love of life feels me with healthy, vital, vital, and strong cells. So you have a really strong energy surrounding love going on here. Self-love, love, love um, from your family, love from loved ones, friends, stuff like that. Perseverance. Perseverance, Um, it seems you, you're on a massive journey right now. And this card has arrived to remind you that you will reach the other side. The mountain you're climbing is huge and formidable. But so is your ability to climb it. You don't need to enjoy it. You don't. You just need to tackle it. Okay, so feeling like that you got some love issues. You know, you're surrounded by love. But there is something that... There is a challenge here. And there is something that you need to, you know, attack head on. It's something, a challenge that you need to endure. Um, complain if you... If it, if it makes the job easier, blow off some steam... You think mountain climbers get to the top of efforts off of inspirational quotes? No way. They're grunting and crying and cursing the whole freaking time. Just, you know, that just doesn't sell posters. So, you know, they're not going to tell you, oh, the people that climb Everest, they weren't cussing and fussing and grunting and grinding. Basically, <coughs> you're surrounded by love. You have, um, you're letting this energy permeate through you and it's helping you to persevere through a challenge that you're currently facing. So that's the affirmation for fire signs right now. At the bottom of the deck, in your subconscious message is about connection. And so again, we're not just we're just talking about love energy. You feel in love energy, You're saying I'm connected to the multitudes. I can access their support at any time. So you have a surrounding you support as you persevere through this challenge that you are facing. And I'm feeling like um Okay, it is regarding love, you guys. There's a challenge here. I feel like there's a decision that needs to be made or something that needs to be overcome. It's about connecting. It's about connections, some connections. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to use my healing mantra cards and see what kind of healing needs to take place. Or what? What healing does fire sign need to be aware of? Awakening inspired action. Again, there is an action that needs to be taken. There's a decision that needs to be made. And so the healing says there is only what life is asking of me. So what is life asking of you? You need to pay attention to the signs. What is going on? You're having this feeling. Um... to love like I feel like there's a decision that needs to be made and um, I see receiving elation once you come into a decision making this will bring you peace it will give you the joy that you're seeking it will infuse you with love and vitality but you need to make a choice I am born of infinite joy the infinite joy the choice that you are making needs to be something that is actually going to satisfy your soul urges it's actually gonna make you happy yes that is my little baby in the background he is a guest on the show today he is trying to fight sleep. 
celebrating simplicity. So it's not that difficult. Whatever this decision is, it's actually really quite simple. And you do understand that and you already know that. It's saying I'm more fulfilled when there is less to manage and maintain. So this may be about having too much on your plate or having too many options or having too many, you know, having to choose between this or that. And again, so with pertaining to love, you have a choice here pertaining to this person or that person. You have look like different kinds of connections here with different people and you're the singular link between them and it's it's about trying to find a way to be harmonious in these connections or find balance and peace within yourself it's also this one person in particular that you do have a lot of love for and you want to let them know and express that love to them however you have some kind of internal battle going on here because this is five there are five in this, and five represents some form of internal conflict. Literally, there's an internal conflict because these are cells battling something that's like a virus or something that they feel like they need to attack. Um, but Spirit is saying if you perse persevere, you have what's necessary to persevere through this. You will make it through there, and you will um, get the inspiration you need to take the action that needs to be taken. You will receive the joy from that. There will be a blossoming. See, like this looks like an idea like a light bulb that's reminding me of that light bulb that comes on that lets you know like gives you an idea that tells you how exactly to deal with this you just need to follow your intuition and when you do that then there'll be an opening in your cell or your, in you on a cellular level and on a spiritual level um if you have been feeling kind of sick then this is saying that um you'll discover what it is that you need to take what kind of vitamins or um what kind of vitamins or supplement changes you need to make in your diet in order to make you a better person? This will make you stronger in your ability to uh, vocalize um, and move forward. Actually, be more clear on the actions that you want to take. And this will also narrow things down. You have a uh, you'll have more stability um, and, and balance in different areas of your life. Once you have settled in and made this decision, at the bottom of the deck, exploring unity consciousness. See, the bottom of this deck is weird because I didn't. I don't make sure the cards are turned a certain way, way because they flip flop. So right here, this says exploring unity consciousness, and it has like a star here. And there are other stars being surrounded by it. So it's like when you work on yourself, this is what I'm feeling about this card. When you work on yourself, the people around you that you love and you connect with, they will start to benefit from this energy, this healing energy that you go through. But on this other side, it's saying my choices determine how brightly I shine. And I think that's interesting because there's a star on this side. And on this side, there is uh, crystals. And it's talking about you know your choices determine how brightly you shine like when you make choices that dim your light or that go against what your soul urge is then you are actually doing injustice to yourself and the people that you love and the people that you're connecting with and let's look at the bottom of this really quick it's saying i am one eternal light appearing as all interesting how this one eternal light <clears throat> appearing as all my choices determine how brightly I shine. But here, there's that crystal again. And this is actually about expressing free will. So you do have free will, and you can choose. You need to make a choice. Whatever it is that you are caught in between or you are being stagnant on, the universe is asking that you make a choice because with this awakening-inspired action, there is only what life is asking you. What is life asking you? Life is asking you to right now decide what it is you want. <coughs> Make a choice and stick with it. Yeah. Y'all, excuse me. I'm having throat chakra issues right now. Also, temperature changes. Uh, temperature changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to detox. I'm going to take some olive leaf extract. I'm going to drink some peppermint tea because it helps dry up mucus along with some um, ginger and turmeric. Yeah, I'm going to get myself together. Hold on. Okay. Okay. So, fire sign, it seems that you have been experiencing some challenges 
um, in the areas of love where you are really discovering what love means what it entails what does it require you trying to make a decision about whether or not you actually want this energy in your life well you've actually already welcomed it because you manifested this energy into your life however there are some things you know because love is not perfect love is not perfect uh, you have to work at it um, everything won't just fall into place you have to actually work at it you can't be stagnant on this energy um, and this is something that you want so this is something that you need to work on and you need to work towards my guest speaker wants to be seen hi turkey I love you <laughs> I love you <laughs> all right so I love you too okay so let's work and let's see what you have mastered so, I love you too <clears throat> what has fire signs mastered shush 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 what have fire signs mastered Just looking back at this and see if I was receiving another message. There's a challenge here with love. That's what I'm saying, a challenge. Here. Feeling like you need to balance, balance yourself. So, what have you mastered? You mastered balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment. So, the challenge here with love pertaining to relationships and connections, you're bringing balance and harmony into your life by um, because you are balancing yourself. It, like I said, it connects and interacts. Your healing heals the people around you. And you bring harmony into your life. And this uh, judgment-free energy is what unconditional love is about. What else have fire signs master? <laughs> okay. Fear. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So there are some things that you were afraid of or you were unsure about, you had some anxiety over, um, that you didn't know how they would turn out, but you're realizing that living in the energy of love will help you get through a lot of your challenges. That is the energy that you have to persevere through this. That is the strength behind who you are as a per person and as a soul and your soul purpose is to bring balance in everything in every aspect in every dimension of your life <clears throat> because only then will you have any peace and you've mastered some growth here you master some growth in in the line in the line of adversity in spite of adversity in the midst of adversity um You learn to expand your consciousness and your awareness. This is a tower right here with adversity. So you had some things, some faulty belief systems that had to come down, that had to crumble, that had to fall apart. The universe has caused some conflicts, has caused some conflicts or some karmic, um, some karma to come into your life in order to teach you a lesson and to build you up and make you stronger. Basically, anything that is not true um, will not be able to stand during this uh, adversity, but you have the per perseverance. You are the truth that will stand, but there are some things that will fall away. There are some people that will fall away. Um, there are some connections that will be strengthened, and there are some connections that will be severed. So, <clears throat> just... um. Your decisions that you're making 
are going to be what causes this to happen. So you are actually manifesting this. So be clear on what it is that you want to manifest, especially with this May um, 26th lunar eclipse in Sagittarius. It's going to set the pace for the next six months of the year and what you will accomplish and what would you be able to manifest and bring into your life into your physical reality so right now it's a time of you know basically setting your intentions i get one more like five cards for the um mastery but these adversities come to actually um remove all the fear and doubt to strengthen your self-esteem to strengthen your self-confidence As you come into balance, as you come into the awareness of who you truly are, you become more of who you were destined to be. Like you're stepping into your power, you're realizing your significance, your importance, your value in this world, your value to yourself, your value to others. That you are a very beautiful energy that other people will love to be around and that people will listen to and they learn from. And you shed a light that is very healing. And so you may attract people who are often broken into your energy field. And that is why you need time to recharge and to be around people who are more like you, who are more on your vibrational frequency, because otherwise you'll end up around a lot of energy vampires. And those energy vampires, they don't always have negative intentions or mean to hurt you. It's just that they're so broken, um, they just pull on you for survival. They're leeches. They're parasites they are i can't remember what it's called um it's a term for a parasite where it actually some there are some parasites that actually help you it's symbiotic symbiotic relationships so um there are some symbiotic relationships However, the symbiote is still a parasite. It still does slowly kill you. It still does slowly take away your light. Um, you may it, it may pull back on how much light it pulls from you because its survival depends on your life force and your survival, so it can't kill you um, because then it will die. Hold on. Okay, so understand that these kinds of connections are still not healthy for you especially if you don't take the time out to recharge or be around other people who are in your like energy field who can you know push you and inspire you to be great these other people their energy will cause you to be stagnant you'll find that you spend a lot of time not doing anything a lot of time uninspired to make any moves you spend a lot of time daydreaming about what you want your life to be instead of actually putting the action and energy behind it and that is where this awakened inspired action is coming for from because it's energy is coming to wake you up out of this stupor because you have the potential to be so much more and to have so much more and the universe is saying that these things i'm going to send a tower to bring down these things that are keeping you away from your destiny that are keeping you away from your greatness and because it's in you it's in you to do that that energy is available to you however you do have free will you do have free will with this expressing free will card. So if you choose not to take this energy, take advantage of this energy that's coming towards you. If you choose not to move forward, not to um, have take any action, then that is your free choice. And the opportunities, you know, some come again because of the cycles in, in life and karma. Because maybe there's something that you need to learn before you can move forward. However, there are some things that are once in a lifetime, and if you miss these opportunities, you will regret them. You will regret losing this opportunity. This opportunity is pertaining to love. You could miss out on the greatest experience of a lifetime because of inactivity and stagnation and a refusal to make a choice. Understand, not making a choice is a choice. So, patience. 
Patience is here. You've been trying to exercise patience in this situation. What you've been trying to do is just sort of wait it out. However, there's a thin line between patience and stagnation and refusal to move and make a decision. What you're doing, you're saying, I accept that everything happens in divine order, and you're leaving it up to the universe. This is very beautiful energy. This is very optimistic energy. It is very trusting energy. It's very innocent. Yes, it is. However, <clears throat> this is still a choice. A choice to let the universe decide how things will go. Now, being a master um, manifester, a conscious master manifester, then we know to set an intention and then allow the universe to manifest it through the portal of time into the material realm. And maybe that is how you are. Maybe that is your course. Maybe that's the way you make your decisions. That's the way you manifest your life. However, I am seeing an energy where you are a little fearful about how the outcomes are because you do sometimes venture into worrying about the future and you get a little depressed um reminiscing on the past but those times are over and they are behind you and you are now no longer that person and the person in your future you are becoming so there's no worry about that hakuna matata is what i'm hearing <coughs> um that's what I'm seeing right now for your mastery. So, let's look at finances. I want to see something about some money. What y'all want to do? I think y'all want to see something about some money. Well, the first thing that popped in my mind is fortune. Money and my fortune cookies. So, it's luck. And... These are mixed up. Sorry. Have to sit here. Mix them up. Straighten them out. Straighten it out. Okay, so your money might be tied up. It might be mixed up. It might be, um, you might need to flip some things in order to make some money. I'm saying just by the energy I'm reading from what I had to do. I'm reading the omens right here. So you may have to sell something. You may have to buy something, sell something. So it's a way to transformation, to transform this energy. There's a way to transform this energy with your finances. And that is to invest in something that you can flip or that you can um, use to make more money. Okay, what fell? What fell is surprise. A disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation could bring love to those searching. So we're talking about finances here, but that was a love message. But let's see how we can apply that to finances. So you may invest in something, and initially the investment doesn't seem like it's going to do anything, or it may not be growing. It may feel like there's something that you made a purchase on, like you want to invest in a business, um, <clears throat> and the per item that you purchase or the supplies that you purchase you know, it's going to take some time. That's also where I'm feeling with this patience card comes in because these steps that you are taking towards your future and towards financial abundance, it's going to take some time because you've been through a time frame where um, you lost your confidence in yourself. You lost your confidence in your dream and you saw it as something that could possibly not happen. You remain optimistic in your heart, but you did not, you sort of sat still and didn't make any action towards it for a while. But the thing that you begin, if you pick it back up, that disappointment that you experienced with it in the past, it is going to manifest into a happy surprise. There will be an opportunity for that thing to grow, for that financial ability. Um, oh, like I'm hearing like an open door, like a door will open. And I see declutter. Declutter your life. Let go of correspondence, objects, and people that no longer that you no longer want. Someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid. So, this is saying um, there is somebody. There are some things in your life that you need to pull away from. You need to declutter. There may be habits that you have in this Taurus energy. I've noticed that people have been indulging a lot in lounging and luxury um even if it's not necessarily luxurious they've just been lounging and being lazy because that's kind of the Taurus energy and um what it's telling you to do is, is sort of 
declutter so you can have clarity of thought so you have clarity of intention so that you don't manifest a who be witty what you might call it thing about into your life because that's not the kind of energy you want to manifest you that kind of sort of what is that you, who wants that in their life we've had enough of that energy you know in the matrix um karmic path okay i'm gonna pull one more let's see what else is going on with finances the universe is telling you to declutter and make a plan uh, or get back to the original plan that you had difficult times be on your guard against chaos and unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are foretold so you may have the issues with your finances has been rooted in the issues with your relationships because the people that you've been around have not been the kind of people that inspire you to move forward and to be greater and to persevere and to accomplish your goals the kind of people that you've been around have been kind of lazy and stagnant and that energy you being an empathic person you've sort of attached yourself to that energy or allowed it to attach itself to you is dragging you down and keeping you from moving forward and so the universe is telling you to declutter now. This declutter coming right back down to this damn adversity card, this tower moment where the faulty um, foundations will be shattered. They will fall apart. So these connections with these types of energies, people, habits, these things are going to collapse. They're going to, it's not, the energy isn't stable. So you start feeling shaky in these things. These are things you need to detox from and you need to pull away from so that you can get back on your divine path. These are also learning experiences that are along your divine path. <clears throat> Planning. Just got through talking about that. Planning just came out. Now it's the time to lay down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. So you have this Jupiterian energy coming in here with that I'm feeling Jupiter is about luck. It's about abundance. It's about prosperity. It's about learning your lessons and moving forward in a good way. So what I'm seeing here is that, you know, with planning, decluttering, the difficult times will turn around into a surprise and you will be able to uh, manifest these material gains. Why am I feeling a blockage? Like, you're having a difficult time expressing yourself because I know exactly what I want to say, but my mouth is not saying it or it's feeling kind of funny. But perseverance came out again. Perseverance was one of your initial affirmators, but here it is again in your money area of your life, in the financial area of your life. You may feel like, oh, Mercury retrograde is coming around. That is what's going on. Maybe I'm in this pre-Mercury retrograde energy where communication is fucked up. I am not looking forward to that time, y'all, because I already live in a place where internet is shoddy. Anyway, perseverance. You may feel like you are getting nowhere. Right back to that damn difficult times energy and that surprise energy where I was saying a disappointment you may have experienced, but it's going to be followed by a pleasant surprise. Um, however, that there is something or someone around you that is going to bring out a negative vibe or dark energy or whatever you're going to be it's going to be revealed to you what kind of person this person really is and that's going to be your uh af your confirmation to remove this person out of your life because they're holding on like a fucking parasite um you may feel like you are getting nowhere but there are wonderful changes ahead don't give up so don't give up Stay with that beautiful, optimistic attitude that you are saying with this patience card that, you know, everything happens in divine order. You're allowing the universe to unfold this for you and work this out for you as far as your finances, as far as your love life. But that does not mean just sit there and not do anything. Please work on bettering yourself, um, personal development, uh, work on a plan for when these energies come around because you don't want to miss these opportunities. So that's all I have for you right now. Um, I hope that I was able to shed some light on some things and give you some kind of, I don't know, inspiration. I am, I just feel like I need to pull one more card for your daily healing. Your daily healing energy is, your daily healing energy is, don't be afraid to slow down as this is when you can make real inner changes. So, hmm. 
<clears throat> yeah. Declutter. Slow down. Personal development. Make some inner changes. So, I'm going to let that speak for itself. And I thank you for watching. I'll see you again next time. Thank you.